the sun. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be rigging Dr. Octavius. Now, you might be wondering, why are we rigging this character really? Like, is it 2021 that we got this Spider-Man No Way Home? No. Uh, in my last tutorial, I made a Christmas-themed video featuring Spider-Man and Doc Hawk, but there was actually no Dr. Activis, you know, all these tentacles. So this time, we're going to be rigging this character fully using the Rigify add-on, which, which comes with Blender as a free tool. And yes, I know, you're, you're probably surprised to see me not using Autorig Pro. <laughs> to start, we need a good 3D model of Dr. Octavius. You can find various models on Sketchfab, where some are paid, they're, they're actually having a dollar sign on the corner, and some are free. For this tutorial, I'll be using a free model. After searching, I found three good looking options. A technical model that looks really shiny and high quality, a character model that looks fine, but we'll think about it. I actually don't like the overall look. A zebra sculpt that is the most accurate. So get ready with me. We're gonna import them <laughs> into Blender. <laughs> now open your Blender and import the character. The zebra sculpt is too large, so scale it down. Then don't forget to always, always, always apply your transformations. These are scale, rotation, and location transformations. So always apply them in order to avoid any issues during rigging. Next, we're going to enable Rigify. We got to go to the Edit, Preferences, and Add-ons, then search for Rigify, and just enable it. It's already enabled for me, so you can go ahead and do that. We can now bring an armature into our viewport and start rigging. Press Shift-A, select Armature, basic human instead of the uh, default human meta rig which is more complex now basic human armature does not come with face or finger bones but that's okay for this video at this point we can see an issue that is the character is not symmetric and we gotta fix that now let's take a look into the other doc hawk model well that looks like a japanese anime version on steroids what happens if I do this? Instead of manually adjusting everything, we'll take a shortcut. We'll remove the skin from the zebra sculpt and replace it with the jacket from the steroid guy, which is already symmetrical. This way, our model will be much easier to rig. We can start adjusting the rig right now. Go to edit mode and position the bones where they should be. Think of it like placing the bones in a human body. Ankles, elbows, shoulders, etc. Once satisfied, apply all transforms. Select the character mesh, select, uh, I don't know, the jacket, select everything that should be part of this rig. Okay. Then select the armature and then press Ctrl P with automatic weights. That way we can parent it to the rig. If the automatic weight painting fails, like in this case, it's likely due to too many vertices. Fix this by going to edit mode, press A to select everything, press M, merge by distance, but don't overdo it or your model will be, you know, losing all the details. And now, and right now, let's try to parent it one more time again. Let's hold your breath and yes, it did work. Congratulations on this. To prepare for animation, the character should be in T-Pose. That's a general rule of thumb. I don't know who invented this, but uh, that's what, they, what people usually use for animation, right? So uh, let's put this character in T-Pose. Go to Pose Mode and manually adjust the bones to a T-Pose. Select all objects bound to the rig and apply the armature modifier. Why do we do this? Because when we go to edit mode, everything goes back to a regular A pose. So we got to fix this. <laughs> Anyways, in pose mode, set the current pose as the rest pose. Now parent everything back to the armature and there we go. Our rig is now ready for animation. We'll now import the tentacle model. 
This model comes with an FPX rig from Mixamo, but we only need the tentacles. Firstly, we're gonna delete the Mixamo mannequin, but keep the tentacles armatures. And yes, they do have the armatures inside since you know these tentacles bend, right? So they they need to have some sort of a ten some sort of a armature. Select each tentacles armature and press Alt P, and say clear and keep transformation. That way, we really want to keep them keep them in this shape, in this size. But if we just wanna we just wanna unparent them, okay? And next, just reparent the tentacles armatures to our character. We gotta select the each tentacles armature, and then select the closest bone in Dark Ox armature. Press Ctrl P, P and parent to the bone, and there you go. Now the tentacles follow the character's movement. All right, let's bring Doc Ock back to life using motion capture. You got two options. You can capture your own movement using Kinect, mocap, or any other mocap device actually. Another option is that, you know, grabbing some animation from Mixamo, which will be quick and easy. So <laughs> I'll go ahead and do that. Now to transfer that animation onto rig, we'll use the Rococo Blender add-on, which is totally free by the way. And yes, the free stuff is always great. Select the source armature, this is going to be Mixamo rig. Select the target armature, this is going to be our rig. Click build bones list. Now this will generate a list of bones matching from source to target, but it may not be correct. So you have to go through that list manually and match the bones yourself. And I know it's kind of like a puzzle, but you got this. Click retarget animation and boom, the cock is moving. This retargeting steps. Sounds familiar, isn't it? Well, you're right, man. It's pretty much the same process as we did with the other rig pro. But hold up. Those tentacles are not moving. Why? Because their motion is controlled by the empties and they don't automatically follow our retargeted animation. But don't worry, we're gonna animate them using keyframes. Here's a trick. Enable auto keyframe so Blender does the hard work for you. Select an empty that controls the tentacle. Press I to insert a keyframe for its position. Move it a little, move it in a timeline. Insert another keyframe and repeat. Do this for all tentacles. And congratulations, you've just given Doc Ock his signature chaotic movements. And there you have it, folks. Doc Ock is fully rigged, animated, and ready to take over the city. Or at least your bloody report. <coughs> Hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did smash that like button subscribe for more and let me know what you think in the comments if you have any suggestions or any requests or any on any videos please let me know and hope to see you guys in the next video bye for now